mga Global Geopark ng UNESCO ang Isla ng Bohol. Nominated as the first Philippine site on UNESCO's list of Global Geoparks. Ang unang Global Geopark na Pilipinas na kinilala ng UNESCO. And with that great news, of course, we decided to fly to the country's first ever UNESCO Global Geopark and show how much we hashtag love the Philippines. We had a late check-in at the Ohana Resort in Bohol's Panglao, a peaceful retreat away from the busy tourist crowd but not too far from the center. For this trip, we are taking with us Grandmama Bear to show her around Bohol. After settling down, we headed to Alona Beach for a late dinner at this Thai restaurant. We woke up early the next morning to prepare for the first day of our Bohol tour. Day 1 is the countryside tour and we'll be going around the usual tourist spots like the Baklayan Church, Tarsier Sanctuary, Blood Compact Shrine, and have lunch at the Lobok River and see a mini waterfall. But of course, let's start the day with a bang by visiting the province's most famous tourist spot, the Chocolate Hills. Almost everybody already knows the origin of their name, that they look like chocolate kisses as their grass turns brown during the summer. But did you know that the more than 1,200 chocolate hills are an example of karst rock formation formed by the dissolution of limestone? Want more excitement? How about riding on an ATV around the hills? Now, it's time to head to the forest and see some wildlife, like Bohol's most famous primate, the Philippine Tarsier, here at a Tarsier Sanctuary. Grandmama Bear is excited to see Tarsiers for the first time in her life. Oh, look! Just a few minutes in and we already spotted one. As they are nocturnal animals, this one is deep in its sleep. Shh. A quick stop at the souvenir shop and off we go to our next forest pit stop, the Bohol man-made forest. The forest is made up of white and red mahogany trees planted around half a century ago and stretches two kilometers along the border of Beeler and Lobok towns. Now, it's lunchtime, and where else to take a sumptuous meal but at the famous floating restaurants of Bohol with a scenic view of the Lobok River. A truly magical experience to have buffet lunch while on a leisurely cruise on the river, surrounded by lush forest and turquoise waters. As a bonus, guests are serenaded with acoustic music throughout the entire trip. If the onboard music isn't enough for you, the boat also stops at a section of the river where local performers render a traditional song and dance number for the guests, garbed in native borrowed saya. Let's have a listen.
Incidentally, Papa Bear also knows how to play the banduria, so it is but natural for him to join in the fun. Inside our boat, the singing and the dancing continued. But enough of the revelries. Let's go back to the real star of the show, the Lobach River. And hey, I think I can finally see the waterfalls. There! The Busai Falls only cascades from a height of over 6 feet or 2 meters. And of course, the river cruise wouldn't be complete without a few group photos. Our countryside tour wouldn't be complete without a visit to the Spanish colonial era Buck Lion Church, declared by the government as a national cultural treasure and historical landmark. The current Coral Stone Church has stood the test of time for almost 300 years. But during the 2013 earthquake in Bohol, the church sustained major damage, with its facade and the top levels of its bell and watchtower being completely destroyed. Restoration efforts were completed in 2018. People in Sando or above the knee shorts are not allowed inside this sacred place. So, alas, no entry for me. The last stop of our day trip is the Sandugu Un Monument made by Boholano national artist Napoleon Abueva depicting the blood compact between Spanish explorer Miguel López de Legazpi and Raja Sicatuna in 1565 to signify peace and friendship. One last stop at a souvenir shop to complete our Pasalu Bong Hall. For dinner, we decided to head back to Alona Beach and try restaurants that serve fresh seafood that they cook however you want. It sure was a long tiring but fun-filled and rewarding day. See you on day two of our Bohol trip. For now, let me treat Grandmama Bear to some fresh buko juice. <laughs> 